make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are fans of the content being posted onto this channel to always be in the loop with more content similar to this and be sure to hit the video up with a like if you're enjoying the content and with that being said let's begin ladies and gentlemen the long anticipated wait for resident evil 8 is finally over resident evil 8 village is now finally confirmed to be released in 2021 and right now we're going to be doing an analytical breakdown on the resident evil 8 trailer and taking a look at what the sony press conference release had to showcase involving capcom's new title so without wasting any more time right from the beginning we get to observe how our character is walking through a very dark and very secluded forest in the middle of the night of course it's snowing and the rumors are in fact true on almost every single thing we've gotten from the release of Dusk Golem in indicating that we are going to be traveling within the forest at night and it's going to be a seemingly snowy like background or a snowy like setting so as we make our way deeper into the trailer we also get to observe how there are shacks and there are blood trails on the ground so the game is going to heavily focus on a very dark narrative to where it's going to feel eerily similar to resident evil 4 except it's going to take things up to a whole nother level so the opening shot of this actually includes a small shack and of course the setting reminds me personally so much of resident evil 7 with a destroyed interior there are objects and desks and just everything within a household that is destroyed reminding me so much of the baker family until we come across a character that of course assumingly is ethan traveling the woods and he's traveling the forest here and ultimately enough there is a woman who seems to be reading a story now i'm only going to assume that this is going to be mia and she is going to be reading this story to her baby now of course the rumors of mia and ethan having a baby is in fact true because at some given point in the trailer we are going to see a child however during this portion of the trailer we observe a hand which is assumingly going to be ethan's hand and he quickly tries to reveal himself until he is shot by an old man now this old man actually emerges and he seems to tell our character of course assumingly ethan that they're here and that these creatures are well aware of what's going on and they're on the hunt so this is most interesting because as of course we go deeper into the trailer we also get to observe here how of course our character is holding a gun and i'm only going to assume this is going to be ethan unless this actually takes place before the abduction so as of course our characters are shown shooting at these creatures we get to observe how there is a hand that comes crashing down from the ceiling and it latches onto the old man that we just saw and it actually pulls the old man up above and he disappears forever however beneath you beneath the floorboards we also see how these creatures actually latch onto you and they pull you right underneath so these creatures were actually very similar to the quote beast men that we've heard about within the rumors from dust golem so of course as of course we make our way deeper into the game very reminiscent of resident evil 7 of course here we have cult-like symbolism of course that we've heard about in previous rumors so of course the rumors now are absolutely true now here we have a statue of a woman holding a sword and shield of course if you look in the background there is a village there eerily similar to that of resident evil of course here once again we have more cult-like symbols on the ground so there is going to be a lot of occultism but here we see the infamous castle that you're supposed to be making your way in and around the surrounding settings it looks like there's a graveyard per se now here once again we have two objects that seem to be embedded in the door so i'm only going to uh, assume here that this is going to be something to where you're going to have to require an object to put within the door but either way if you guys pay close attention it looks like this thing on the door has horns on his head he has demon wings but even then as we make our way deeper within the trailer here i'm only going to assume that this is going to be mia and her child because in the previous rumors and leaks it was said that ethan and mia do have a child this child is deformed 
and we also get to see at a certain point how this rumor actually is true because of what happens involving Chris Redfield. So we have a woman, she's cradling her baby. Now, this is also interesting because once again, heavy, heavy Resident Evil 4 vibes here with of course people having to just do typical gardening with a cathedral in the background. And of course, it's a very, very loomy, very grim kind of setting. So of course, villagers, villagers just as we've seen in Resident Evil 4. Now, what I really enjoy about this is the setting, the narrative, and everything just seems doom and gloom. It actually reminds me personally of a mixture between Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. So, of course, if you guys pay close attention, there are cultist-like symbols all around. Now, this is what's going to be interesting is the fact that these villagers are going to be, or of course, some of the enemies are going to actually be very eerily similar to the Ganados. Now, this is also interesting in the idea that we have mysterious people in and out. I'm assuming here that this is going to be Emily, the guide that you're going to receive in the village that is going to supposedly help you find your way through and because because she's actually looking for her father. So I'm only going to also assume here that from the beginning, this is Emily's father. Now, take a look at this. I forgot to show you guys this from the beginning. Now, as of course, this individual was holding his gun, look at those creatures in the background. They are running and they actually remind me personally of lichens from the movie Underworld. So look at those creatures go. You're going to face off against various different enemies that are, that are all going to be different in nature. So as of course we go back, we're only going to assume that this is Emily, she's looking for her dad, and of course some of these villagers are going to be random. I'm only going to also assume here that that's also going to be her dad. I mean, we don't really know what Ethan looks like. This actually could be Ethan. I really doubt that to be the case, but I mean, never say never at this point. So as we make our way deeper into the trailer, we also get to see how there are images and there are certain things portrayed as of course we get to see here the baby and we don't really know who this baby is again right here cult-like symbolism just as we've seen somewhere over here on the ground so as you guys can see all of these cult-like symbols are actually all the same here so just expect to see that now again i'm also going to assume this is emily and her dad emily is a brand new character and again right there the umbrella logo so what the heck is going on? Umbrella is back? Blue Umbrella, Neo Umbrella, whatever the case may be, Umbrella is going to be involved in this game. Now, again, as we make our way deeper, we have more mysterious characters, this individual here having to showcase blood on his eye and on his head. So, assumingly, they either fought something or something's about to happen because they're shown running away. Now, again, this also, this could be Ethan. We don't know. We've never seen what Ethan looks like. So this is most interesting. We have cattle mutilation all over the place. We have animals that are that have been slaughtered. And this trailer is actually going to showcase some interesting things here that is supposed to give off the narrative. Again, cult-like symbolism, uh, satanic-like worship. We have goats. We have, again, another individual that seems to be looming outside. They have these objects on them. We don't really know for sure as to what they are. Now here, here is something you guys need to pay close attention to, and this is supposed to be the witch that is supposed to be hunting you down throughout the entire game. So, if this is supposed to be the witch that is going to be pursuing you, and you're going to be hallucinating because of her, expect to confront her several times. However, it is also stated, if you want to combat her, and you want to fight her, it's not going to be easy, because she's like a ghost. She disappears, reappears, we don't know what her deal is, but of course she is going to be an enemy. Now, this is what she looks like, of course she looks very, very creepy, a very creepy old lady, so again, until we find more further information, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. So, of course, buildings are on fire, people are on fire. This is kind of weird here, because we're getting, you know, 15th century-like kind of symbolism, um, classical kind of like outlook here. Now, we have bugs. This is interesting, bugs. So, these hooded figures are, are also shown here, but this actually reminds me so much of Marguerite from Resident Evil 7, because this person in the middle is drenched in bugs. So, I have no idea what's going on, 
all you guys have to expect is that you're also going to be facing off against said people here some of these individuals wearing hoods some of these individuals just looking like they belong in the renaissance era so i'm only also going to assume here that this is going to be the inside of the castle that you are supposed to be making your way towards so we don't really know who these women are i'm only also going to assume this is going to be alex wesker because that is supposed to be the main enemy i could be wrong again now come on you can't sit there and tell me that the inside of this castle doesn't give you resident evil one spencer mansion kind of vibes you know so that's those are the vibes that i'm getting from this again i don't really know if this is alex wesker or not she is supposed to be the main enemy however as of course we make our way outside look at this ganado's beast like enemies that are going to be fighting you so of course they also look like zombies i i want to say that this individual is a zombie but he also seems to have control because if this was a zombie he would have attacked you a long time ago without stopping but of course here he pulls back so as of course we also get to see there are enemies on the shacks and whatnot of course enemies shown here now this this enemy reminds me so much of the giant axe wielding enemy that we've seen in resident evil 5 so that's what's interesting here in the idea that if you guys pay close attention there are people you know dying there are people just being hung on sticks they're on fire so they come on down they're destroying everything these villagers and this person here is in fact chris redfield and i'm going to show you as of course we continue so i'm only going to assume this is emily i have no idea who this is but of course another key player or key component in the game this person removes his glasses we don't really know who he is he looks kind of weird right so until we get further information perhaps maybe this is the main enemy alan r who knows but as we go deeper we have these mercenaries these people that break into your house and the person in the middle is eerily enough going to be chris redfield and i'm going to show you that right now so this individual here kisses your hand i have no idea what's going on however towards the end this is the wolf like enemies that we've heard so much about because this enemy here of course resembles that of a zombie but also like a wolf and these beast men are also going to be enemies that are going to be hot on your tail so expect to find them when you do as you play the game so of course i really love the narrative because the setting is doom and gloom everything just looks so you know just so eerily creepy now towards the end of the trailer we get to see the castle we see the village we see the woods so this is where we're going to be this is going to be the setting to resident evil 8 of course towards the end eerie snowy background village resident evil village now towards the end here he is chris redfield what is he doing he has a brand new redesign of course he also tells ethan i'm sorry and as he apologizes look who's on the floor it's mia and the baby and look what chris does he shoots her and he shoots her over and over and over again so of course the rumors also suggest that mia is alive and right towards the end of the trailer ethan asks why because why is chris doing this we have no idea is he working for someone we have no idea however guys this was resident evil 8 i want to get your feedback i want to get your thoughts because if you're not hyped by now i don't know what to tell you so the hype is real the game is coming and it's only a matter of time now if of course you guys are stoked ready and excited give this video a big thumbs up of course more information will come in the next couple of weeks again hit that subscribe button if you guys are new tune back in for more and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below have a great day everybody Peace.